Hey guys, so coming back with another video, I was asked how am I making these homemade simple masks that you have the filter option or you can place a surgical mask inside. Well, I am coming today to finally show you guys how I do it, how I actually line up everything from start to finish and in 20 minutes, this is what your outcome is. It may take you 30 minutes starting out, but once you get into the groove of everything, 20 minutes, that's how long it takes me. I set it all out and this is what we have so i'm going to show you stay tuned if you like it if you have questions if you have concerns uh place them in the comment box i'll try to respond back to you as quick as i can like comment share talk to you later so let's get started First, I try to iron out all the big wrinkles that I can find. There'll still be some little wrinkles still remaining, but just iron your fabric as best as you can. Next, I use a ruler, a quilting ruler, and a rotary cutter. I also use scissors, and I try to get this fabric just as lined as possible. Next, I straighten it up some more. See, make sure I got everything as bulk, as so I can bulk cut it. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna cut as many of these masks and the dimensions that's needed. The dimensions that I use are eight inches by 15, and I'll provide that for you as a reminder, eight inches by 15. So just go ahead and get all your fabric as aligned as possible. And you're going to try to get it as straight as possible, get everything cut into the same dimensions of that eight by 15. So after you have it all cut, back to the ironing. So you go back to your iron board and that's when you're gonna line up everything. So you line it all up and this is where the magic happens. So what I'm gonna do with the iron, I have at the front first part of it, I fold back the fabric and I iron a half an inch down. I just take that look, that fold right there, half, half an inch, press it. Do the other side half an inch, and you're gonna have the wrong side facing you. It's very important to have the wrong side facing you. And then you're gonna make your pleats. Now your pleats can be about an inch, so you just fill it with your hand, do an inch. The first couple you do, you can definitely measure them. My elastic, depending on the type of elastic you're using, so do make sure you test this out on yourself first by making one mask. I use seven inches of elastic. Um, this elastic's pretty good. With some other elastics, I have had to go to um, from seven inches to eight inches to somehow eight and a half, depending on how tight that pull of that elastic is, because no one wants their ears um, that sore after wearing it just one time. So I pin my elastic in place, and then I add an extra pin here on the side to hold the pleats because if not, the underside of the, when you're ironing, the underside of those pleats will release and you won't have pleats on your other side. And the reason we fold down at the beginning and fold down the other end, that is a pocket insert for a filter or anything that you would like to put in there. So then we just do a straight stitch down on our sewing machine um, do that straight stitch down make sure you back stitch at the beginning and at the end I kind of sometimes I double back stitch when I'm going over that elastic part just to make sure it's gonna stay in there um, so after you've done that go ahead to the next one and then the next one and then the next one Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, share, uh, leave me a comment if you want, if it worked for you, if you have a question, if you have a troubleshooting issue, let me know. I'll try to help as best as I can.